guess who's officially on spring break? Every time I do those like double fingers, I literally feel like Michael Scott. Uh, in the office video when he when the office episode when he's at the conference and he's like what should i do and then he does like double waves and he spins around that's how i feel anyway it is a good day it is my first it's monday it's my first day on spring break i'm wearing my shoe pee earrings and it looks like it's gonna rain outside perfect day so finally we are going to talk about if you've already seen the title of the video I have a lot to say about these books. I'm trying to figure out how I should start. I'm going to talk to you guys first about the premise and then I will talk to you guys about the things I liked and didn't like about the plot, things I liked and didn't like about the characters, and things I liked and didn't like about the dialogue. And then um, my overall thoughts and then um, will I read the third book? Can you tell me Virgo Moon? <laughs> the way that I'm like telling you guys, here you go. This is how it's going to be. Um, so yeah, so let's just get into it. So the premise of these books are right now the duology. The third book is coming out sometime this year. The, I feel like I'm too close. I'm sorry. Am I like in your face? So the premise of these books are basically we have this world that is split up um, after this long, like 100 years war. Um, so we follow our main character, Poppy, and she is the maiden. She is chosen. Basically she lives in this world where her like kingdom she has you know the king and the queen she is the queen's favorite and sorry for the noise my mom and my grandma are home so my latinas out there you know you know what's happening in the kitchen right now uh she lives in this world where they are the ascended and essentially they are they are like the good vampires right so they are people who are chosen to ascend and they live for hundreds of years they have super strength um, but they can't go out at night and they basically have like no emotions right and how does poppy know that because she has this gift where she can project onto other people and she can make them feel better or if maybe she might be able to make them sad or angry and also she's able to tell what they're feeling and when she tries to feel the ascended she can't so we have poppy she is a maiden and she is essentially trapped in this world she cannot be looked upon she wears a veil she cannot be touched she has a certain amount of people that can interact with her that can see her that can be around her she is basically being abused by the duke the duke and the duchess are like her guardian because she's an orphan her brother ascended went to the capital to be with the queen um and her parents are dead so we open up and she is basically wanting a new life right but not but she understands the role that she has to play because as maiden her role and her essence is tied to the ascension so like every year there are um, a select few people who are chosen obviously by like noble birth and everything to ascend and go live in the capital and she plays a vital role in that um but this is going to be the first time that she sees an ascension so she understands that she has a role to play she gets that but she wishes that she could go out meet people she's a good fighter um she's very um passionate so she hopes she wishes that things could be different but she sneaks around right so we open up and we so this book's open up with that and basically she meets hawk um a tavern and she later finds out she's attracted to him they almost do that you know and she later finds out that he is going to be her new personal bodyguard after her old bodyguard dies so they're like okay but why does she need the bodyguard because she's a maiden yes but also because remember how i said that this world is split into like a lot of stuff the kingdom of solace right that's where she lives uh was like in a hundred years battle with atlantia and atlantia um, as she knows is basically like demolished and it's full of like bad people evil people they're the ones who created the craven they're essentially the bad super bad like zombie vampires so she's been told since like she was born if you ever see atlantean run the other way right and the reason why the atlanteans are so hated also is because their prince the dark one is still alive and wants to retake the kingdom of solus right because atlantia used to rule everything and then the now rulers of solus basically rebelled against atlantia and they were like this is our land 
that's your land. You guys are the bad people. We are the good vampires. Leave us alone. You know how long it took me to understand that? I will talk more about that like later um, when I talk about like the plot and everything, but just know it took me a long time to understand that. So, so yeah, so that's basically the premise. Uh, so Poppy's a like, cam hey, attracted to my bodyguard, but I know I play a vital role in the Ascension. So what do I do now? Um, that's basically the premise. Okay, so the plot. So we have Poppy and Hog. Okay, also this is going to be spoilers, um, but I feel like everyone has read this by now, but it's going to be spoilers, but I will put this in the title. So if you clicked on this, then you are coming for the spoilers, right? Because I'm going to make sure everyone knows spoilers ahead so basically we have poppy and hog and they get closer and poppy is like super bad you know what like she is so cool she fights she knows how to use a knife she's amazing as an archer and hog is like oh say less i personally think that poppy is the sister that jude duarte deserves um i just think they would get along so well they would be besties they would be the perfect sisters that's my opinion get closer and at the very end uh poppy basically the thing is is that a lot of the plot in the first book is world building we don't really get anything else we just have a lot of inner mo inner monologues of poppy trying to fight her attraction to hawk and basically her trying to see if being the maiden and possibly ascending one day is something that she would want something that she can live with just because she is facing a lot of struggles in her daily life like i said she is isolated she is ignored she is abused by the duke by her guardian it's really bad so she's like can i live with this for the rest of my life at the same time she is having a growing attraction to hawk okay so um basically that's like three quarters of the book is literally just us finding out everything about the world and her getting closer to hawk so at the very end um bad stuff happens and they have to move her ascension her the ascension basically ritual up because there has been multiple attempts to not only assassinate her but kidnap her from the dark one and his dissenters the people who believe that atlantia should take back everything so the ascended the people like the queen and all that are like no we have to take poppy to the capital so she can be with us fully guarded dark one could never get her so poppy's like okay i guess and then hawk's like i'll take her right like i'm the best like the commander everyone says that i should take you so i'm gonna take you big spoiler alert, please if you uh, don't want any spoilers click off um i pretty much have not gotten spoiled at anything right now but i'm going to start talking about really heavy spoilers three two one go okay so at the very end we find out that hawk is castillo the dark one so i kind of saw something coming at like the 300 and like i almost i remember that i noted it but i forgot i think it was like 367 mark i was like he's an atlantean i didn't guess that he was a dark one but i guessed he was an atlantean i was like they keep on highlighting his super strength his ability to see in the night you know um super quick like he goes from like point a to point b in like a millisecond he's an atlantean right but i did i, I don't know why i'm a little bit dumb i didn't connect i didn't connect with the dots i didn't connect dots I didn't <laughs> um that he is a dark one i should have it's like the biggest like honestly like it's it was pretty you know coming like obviously yeah he's a dark one um but poppy finds this out after they sleep together after she loses her virginity to him even though virginity is a social construct whatever after they sleep for the first time there you go that's better after they sleep for the first time um she finds out that he is a dark one and then it pretty much ends like that so that's literally the first book is literally you just being introduced to this whole new world these new characters world building there really is no plot so about this let's just let's just move into like little categories by each book let's have to do overall it's a little bit too overwhelming so the plot is basically non-existent like i'm sorry the plot is basically non-existent this is driven by world building and characters only this first book literally there is no plot but i liked it i think also the difference like i mentioned in my previous video the fact that i actually cared for these characters and the fact that i actually cared about what was going on made me kind of muddle through the murky waters because it was very murky there were moments where i was like what the hell is this world i was like i don't understand i had to flip back i had to like reread some stuff but i cared enough that i was like no i want to know i want to know what the ascended i want to know about the ascension and everything and at the very end that was weird. At the very end, we have uh, Poppy and Hawk, and essentially Hawk is telling Poppy, your whole world is a lie. Your whole world is a lie. 
I'm telling you right now, everything you thought you knew about the Ascension and the Ascended and your Kingdom of Souls and your Precious King is a lie, Queen. You're, is a lie. So she was like, sounds fake, but okay. So literally, that's all there is. The characters, though. The characters, let me talk about the characters. Character during book, of course. Like I said, if there's no plot, there should be character during book. And it is, thank God. It's not like that's education. Um, so we have our two main characters, pretty much. Everyone else is side character. Um, Poppy was a little bit dumb. I'll admit that Poppy's a little bit dumb, but I did like how like cool she was when she fought. Like she actually fought. Like she actually knew how to fight. She reminded me of Jude. Obviously, Jude is no one can compare to Jude. Jude's like amazing, show stopping. She is the moment, but she reminded me of Jude. I was like, you know what? If Jude saw you fight, she would be proud. I like that. Hawk was a little bit annoying. Hawk was a little bit. I'm gonna say Hawk, but Castile. He was a little bit annoying. Yeah, like there were moments where I was like, oh, you're a lot annoying, but he was a little bit annoying, and I understand. Um, but overall, I liked them. I really, really liked them. Like, maybe, maybe even loved them. I loved their relationship. I thought it was actual, genuine. Like, the conversation that they had. Them falling in love. Um, Poppy choosing to do what she wants for once in her life. And that is to be with Hawk. Obviously, at the end. You know. But in that moment, she was like, you know what? I'm the maiden. Everything else has been chosen for me. I want to choose this one thing for me. And she did it. And I was like, good for you, good for you. So that is that one. Basically, this is a, basically, this could be like a prequel, honestly, like, cause everything doesn't like erupt until like the last like 75%. So this is pretty much just world building and us introducing to like the characters and everything. But, you know, I liked it, but you know, just heads up, you're not gonna find a new plot here, but I liked it. Okay. So this one, I loved this one. This was my personal favorite out of the two. I loved this one. And this one kind of took me a little bit longer to read. Not because like I didn't want to read it or something for school. That's literally the only reason why. Because I read this one like in three, four days. This one took me like 10 days. <laughs> but just because of school, I went like three days without reading. Like at period of time. So this one is basically just an extension. We find out more about Poppy and we find out more about Hawk we find out more about the Atlanteans we find out more about the ascended yes this one finally I think this one I don't know if this one like really mentioned it but like with these two like we really find out everything bad about the ascended and everything bad about the ascension basically the ascended are the bad vampires they are the ones who feed off of mortals and they kill right the Atlanteans they are they also need to feed but they need to feed off of other Atlanteans to survive they don't need mortal blood they just need to be with an Atlantean um, to survive for hundreds of years. So Poppy's like, what the hell? <laughs> like my whole life has been a lie. And we find out that Poppy is half Atlantean. That's why she was the maiden. That's why she was chosen. Plot twist, there is no chosen because the gods are asleep. So we have Poppy who's just like, okay, that's why they wanted me to be in the ascended ritual because they need my blood, right? Because they are, they are also... They need their they need her blood to feed, right? Because they are also kind of half Atlantean because they are the vampires, right? Because they're both like different kinds of vampires, but they both have like the same characteristics and like the same, I guess, Atlantean blood, I think. Um, but they both need Atlantean blood to survive. And one of them is like fine, like they make sure that when they bite someone, it's like pleasurable, like they make sure that they put the other person's needs in front. They have they one hundred percent like they're like like 10 times they're like are you sure are you sure can i feed on you are you sure are you sure they make sure there's like at least like someone else always who can 100 percent stop them like a wolf there's wolves like a wolf is always there that they don't need to feed so like if there was another you know atlantean with them they might go crazy because they see the blood but because there's a wolf 100 percent will be able to stop them right the vamp the ascended they don't care they just have whoever's there they don't even bother to make the bite pleasurable they're like if you're in, if you're in unspeakable pain i don't care like and sometimes they feed until the person dies so very 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 different so poppy's like what the hell right poppy's like what the hell is going on so we find out more about that and then we are introduced to a new character Kieran, who I love, he stole the show. He is show stopping. He is the bonded mate of, mm, yeah, the bonded mate. He is like the bonded mate. He's a wolf of Kier of Castile. So he basically tied his life to Castile. So he feels he pretty much is aware of everything that happens with Castile, and he will literally lay down his life for Castile. And so there's this thing because we later find out that Poppy and Hawk are heartmates, and uh. 
they basically have to go through like this joinder and it's basically a threesome <laughs> but i don't because so they basically because kieran and castile are bonded um if if castile and poppy want to be bonded then poppy and kieran have to be bonded so i i think i think i think jennifer L. armentrout uh kind of teased it for the for the third book um i think it's gonna happen um i've seen a lot of people talk about it and i'm so 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 excited but i just don't want like a threesome scene i want like a relationship like all three of them work so perfect together oh my god my camera like died and i thought i lost all the footage i was like 17 minutes in i would have died i would have <gasps> i would have been so mad oh <gasps> my god i would have been so mad there's moments where i was like poppy you like kieran i know you like kieran but why would poppy want to be bonded with hawk aren't they like doesn't she hate him now she does in this one she does hate him because obviously she finds out everything um but she realizes that she wants to save her brother right because her brother is in the capital he ascended and when she finds out what the ascended actually are doing to like the mortal people and like the poor innocent people of the kingdom of solace she's like okay i will help you and hawk's like okay but by helping me you have to marry me because in the eyes of the kingdom of, of the people of solace you are the chosen you are still the maiden so by you tying yourself to me the dark one they will see that i am also chosen by the gods and the ascended don't haven't told the people that the gods are sleeping so they literally cannot you know say anything about our marriage without the people questioning them so poppy's like okay it's a forced marriage yeah so in this one the characters were still a little bit dumb not a little bit annoying hawk was a little bit annoying not that much because we find a lot more about his backstory and now i understand people like like reese because reese and hawk kind of share the same backstory and i would literally i feel so bad for hawk i'm like hawk i am so sorry like i love you i want to give you a hug um so but i obviously we send and farah face and oh, i saw a lot of people comparing it to them and saying like oh face that's better absolutely not poppy hawk i am so sorry people said that about you um so what was i saying oh yeah and poppy's a little bit dumb and what i didn't like about poppy in this one was the fact that she did the thing where she was like uh -huh, i don't like you but then she's like mm -hmm, but i do like you like she would always be like she would be like hawk you're so annoying hawk i hate you hawk i don't like you hawk i'm gonna punch you in the face but then she wouldn't do it and then she would just be like hawk i don't like you and then she would be like mm -hmm, you can like you know i was like I was like, okay, you say you hate him, but you're like irresistible. Like you cannot resist his charms. That's what I didn't like about that. I felt like she should have committed to her being like, okay, no, I hate you, right? And if she liked him, then fine, Poppy, you can like him. Just tell him you like him. I didn't like that. Like with Jude, when she literally was like, after when Cardon betrayed her, she was like, I'm gonna kill, I'm gonna kill you. I'm literally gonna kill you. And Cardon was like, no, but I love you. Like that's how I knew that it was you and not your twin sister, because I know you. And Jude's like listen to me look me in the eyes right here are you listening are you looking at me i'm going to kill you i was like jude that's right exactly jude i love you <laughs> that is my girl uh so yeah so i didn't really like that um but overall again i liked it enjoyable it was good it was good um the dialogue that's the one thing i don't like the writing um the writing i would give like a three maybe two point five stars the way that she writes her atmospheres and the way that she writes like her action scenes so good but the way that she writes her dialogues cringe like cringe like not believable like not something i would see someone saying like it was just so bad and she wrote a lot of sometimes she wrote a lot of like modern dialogue into this and it's like if you're gonna make me believe that this is kind of like you know like medieval times inspired they wouldn't be saying that you know i didn't like that i don't like her dialogue i don't like her dialogue her dialogue kind of puts me out of the story i don't like that um but overall good the smut scenes good good really good thumbs up actually i really enjoyed them and they were good for what they were they were good i've seen read better obviously published and not published but they were good they were enjoyable i don't understand how this one the best romance but good 
Okay, so yeah, so that's it. I highly recommend this book, these books. I think it is really, really good. Again, I've seen people say that it's very info dumpy. Yes, it totally is. But if you care about the characters, you will push through that. If you don't, then you don't. There's no plot. Yes, I've seen a lot of people say that they hate the fact that there's no plot. There is no plot in the first one. The second one is basically them just, what I said, forced marriage and them realizing that eventually they might have to go to war, all of that. And the biggest plot was at the end of the second book, poppy the whole time in the second book they're like what are you they're like why do you have all these powers like why are you half atlantean just half atlantean they're like what are you they find out that she is directly ascended from the gods like from the gods from the deities from the gods children she has a direct line to them so she is truly the queen she can she has she's like above everyone else even castile and his family so she is the rightful queen insane i cannot wait for the third book um so yeah so highly recommend this there really is no plot. I think there's plot in the second one. People say there isn't. I think there is. I think that whole exciting the world and the whole uh, Atlantia versus Solis eventual fight. Love that. Um, that's plot to me. But so uh, some people don't like Poppy and Hawk, but I do realize that the people who don't like Poppy and Hawk are the people who like Face Sand. So and the people who don't like Face Sand love them. I've actually noticed that. So it's not just me. I've noticed that. A lot of people who hate them love them. Oh, I'm pointing to my Sarah J. Mask collection. The people who hate Face Sand love them so um the dialogue again that put me off so i agree with those criticisms um but yeah so i highly recommend them yes they are thick they are thick they're thick but they're worth it but they're worth it um so yeah i highly recommend it i really really think that all of you oh my god blues barking i really think that all of you sci-fi sci-fi this is not sci-fi all of you fantasy lovers and all of you um kind of like slow like piney right not really angst i hate that there was really no angst because jennifer l armentrout tried to do angst but it wasn't clicking and it wasn't angsty and it was just like okay i guess that's sad but like there was like angst between like the two like there's a lot of lies that like there was there was a lot of not lies but like a lot of stuff that uh hawk stay up uh, like hid from poppy that come out in this in the second book and poppy was like i'm betrayed oh my god do i still love you but then she would be like no yeah of course i still love you and i'm like that's not angst jennifer l armatrod if you actually want that to be angst have them fight like you know like have them actually fight and poppy like leaving or something you know like that's not fight where they're just like poppy's like i'm i feel betrayed and then like two seconds later castile's like yeah but you love me and then and then poppy's like Oh, yeah i do love you <laughs> like in her mind she's like yeah of course i do still love him i'm like then that's not angst i'm sorry jennifer Almatra, but no so i didn't like that i do realize that i really do need angst with my romance because i there was times where i was kind of like i don't like this i need angst i need something to happen between them but you know towards the end um like in, towards the end the middle like they kind of stopped fighting and i was kind of like but then when they would fight i was like that's the stuff that's the stuff um but yeah so basically in the end of this one poppy and hawk are actually in love but then they're like actually they got married but now everything that happens with uh poppy's bloodlines and her being the rifle queen we don't know what's gonna happen i don't know um so she also so it happened when they find out that she is the rifle queen is when they actually arrive at atlantean and she is about to meet castile's parents and then all that happens insane so yeah really really good highly recommended go buy it okay thank you so much for subscribing thank you so much for taking the time to watch this i hope you guys like this and i will catch you in the next one stay safe and go reach a book for me